people have not be able to understand the anointing. That is why they criticize the anointing and they don't know the function of the anointing and they are not aware what the anointing is all about. You can be in church for 40 years, you can be in church for 30 years, but if you don't understand what the anointing is, you can never, you can never benefit from the anointing because you lack understanding. Whatever you don't understand, you don't benefit from it. Just as some people downplay education and today they are illiterate people. It's the same way some believers refuse to understand the importance of the anointing. For that reason, they can't benefit. They are being in church, but they don't know what is the anointing. And some mumushous people are also don't understand what the anointing is. But they are preaching. Very, very mumushous. Barbaric people. They don't understand the anointing. The disciples of Jesus, they went to cast that devil. The devil could not go. They never had the anointing to cast out the demon. They could not cast out the devil because they were not anointed. They were not anointed to do that. The seven sons of Stephen went to cast out devil. The demon beat them, naked them. Why? They were not anointed to do it. You don't see some of them doing something. I can do the same thing. It depends. When it comes to ministry, you can't see somebody doing something. Say, I end up to preach from Bible. I can do the same thing. This is not my kind of work. We are not talking about Spana 12 and Spana 6. What we are doing is, it has nothing to do with Bob John and Shark Absorber. We are not dealing with Spana 12. This is not Brixley. It has nothing to do with geology. What I read in university. This has nothing to do with nursing school. It's a ministry. And this ministry you must be called into it. That's the only way you can be anointed. I'm not talking to somebody here. Now listen. You can go to a medical school. And they teach you everything. You become a nurse, but you can go to a pastoral school and graduate with a degree in your hand and be a taxi driver. Why? Because this one is different. It is not a profession, it's a calling. It is not a profession. Be a pastor. It's not a profession. It's not a vocation. It's a calling. You can go to law school and graduate and go and practice law and they make you a lawyer. But the area of the ministry is special. You must be called into it. And when God call you, he anoint you. That is why myopic and beyond make mentality people will never understand what we are doing. They will never understand what we are doing here. They said that young guy is just preaching in prophesying. This is a call of God. <laughs> Being a naughty is different. We are not talking about the three V in the human beings. The one you have to give injection to and the one you cannot give injection to. This is not it. I am just saying that. So those who are in other area of the vocation, they should not come and equate themselves with ministers on the altar. We on the altar, we are different. We are different. I am not talking to somebody here. We are different. When I begin to give gasoline to motorcyclists, the first 100 gallons, the second time 200 gallons of gasoline, and give to other people, some people sat and said, 
all the men will be representative. Look, 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 why do you want to degrade life? Why do you want to put me in degradation? You want to represent a constituency. I am representing a kingdom. I just want you to know where you are and who is your pastor. Somebody said they are not in. I'm telling you that what is here is great. They are not in. You see, people go to hospital and they diagnose them of liver problem and they rush here and I say, receive your healing and they go back. No more liver problem. People that have problem that should be willing to benefit from their nothing, speaking against their nothing. Someone that is in eighth grade speaking against oil, speaking against their nothing that don't know subject fed agreement, talking against knowledgeable prophet. Listen, listen in Liberia, there's freedom of speech. But when you come to God's kingdom, there's no freedom of speech. If you talk anything that's not correct, they are not they can destroy you. That is why Psalm 105, verse 15. It said, Touch no my nothing. There's no freedom of speech in God's kingdom. You must be able. Bible said, by your word you shall be justified, and by your word you shall be condemned. So you better be careful. In God's kingdom, there's no freedom of speech. In heavenly constitution, section 105, verse 15. You don't understand what you are doing here. It is understanding that put you on the mountain top and everybody look to you for solution and ask you how manage 